this. I want to show you a, a patient testimony today. It's kind of important, and the reason for this testimony is twofold. The first is to uh, go over the importance of not removing neuromas in the foot, especially as a first line of treatment. And the second is to show what you have to look in, in the patient's foot with respect to biomechanics and what you're kind of dealing with when people have forefoot pain. So let's look at what happened with her. If, uh, if you look at her foot here, you can see she had a dorsal, she had a dorsal approach uh, neuroma removed. And she ended up with extreme pain. It was done on both feet. So it was done on this right foot and also on the left foot. You can see the, the scarring here. Um, after the surgery, she became debilitated with the pain and actually couldn't even work. Her pain was extreme. As a matter of fact, she made a statement uh, this morning that she could see how people might even want to end things for themselves because of the chronic nerve pain you have. And th these can be extremely bit debilitating. So we have other ways to look at treating the forefoot uh, that if it doesn't go right, you haven't burned a lot of bridges. When you start taking nerves out and things don't go right, uh, it, it can go pretty bad. So what we've done for her in, her in her right foot and her left foot already, we made a plantar approach and basically uh, traced out the, the nerve where it was not all removed and then buried the distal end of the nerve into the intrinsic muscle, muscle here. Did the same thing to her left foot as well. This is a, a post-op of about uh, three weeks. You see it's a fairly significant uh, scarring to have to go into the foot here and do these types of surgeries. Now one thing we also did with her was extremely important. We did a gastrocnemius recession on her, which you can see the scarring here. Actually, one of her primary etiologies was the fact that she has gastrocnemius equinus. That has to be addressed. If you don't address biomechanical issues, your nerve surgery is not going to work anyway. So when we see a patient, we look at different things to try to determine what we're going to do with the patient. If a patient comes in with forefoot pain, the pain is oftentimes associated with mechanical issues, neurological, and, and also under the influence of metabolic problems. So we have to look at all of that. So when we examine a patient, the first thing we do is test them for equinus. Many patients that have forefoot pain have equinus. The second thing we look at is the rear foot. And we check the rear foot by placing a person in neutral position and looking at how the rear foot is, whether it's stable or unstable. There's some other videos on that. Do the same thing with the forefoot by looking at the movement in our first ray. So it gives us three things we look at. Then we look and see where the nerves may be hurting, where, the, where they have an inflamed nerve like the molder sign, or where nerves may be hurting on the top of the foot, especially in our diabetic patients that may have a deep perineal nerve entrapment or a nerve entrapment at the posterior tibial nerve. So these are even up further in the leg. So these nerves have to be looked at too. And then the last thing we do is look at the metatarsal heads themselves. We do that through x-rays and also ultrasound where we look at the, the metatarsal head and determine what is actually inflamed. The ironic thing in this patient, if you look at her foot here, you can actually see on this side where she has a equinus type foot. She has a very high arch. Her main etiology to begin with, without before she ever had surgery in my opinion, was her gastrocnemius muscle being tight. There's a very po good possibility this patient could have gone without any of these surgeries other than the gastroc recession because she has a stable rear foot, a stable forefoot. Her metatarsal heads are not really inflamed with the ultrasound. So when she came in to see us, her biggest issue was the failure of the neuroma surgery. Now, neuroma surgery, many times you'll be okay with taking a nerve out, but if it doesn't go right, it's, it's disastrous for patients. And you have to correct mechanical issues and address things that may be going on metabolically before you uh, start taking nerves out. So it's best to decompress the neuroma and to correct mechanical issues in patients. And that many times will, will lead to much less uh, bridge burning and a whole lot happier patient. So anyway, uh, let me just ask you this. Now, I'm obviously before the surgery, what was your pain level from zero to 10? 
Oh, I was working with the pain clinic and it was many days 9 and 10. So most days, even with pain medicine and pain clinic 9 and 10, unable to work. Now obviously you still have some residual pain from the surgery. What is it at now, you think, with your right foot? Uh, it's probably maybe a 1. So we're just, from, we've gone from a 10, really to, 10 to a 1. And I don't think, as a, as I don't think that removing the aroma has been our only reason why our pain so much better. The main reason, I think, is actually in her case because we did the gastrocky uh, recession and got the forefoot pressure reduced. Obviously, we had to remove the nerve because it was irritated from the surgery. Uh, this foot now we're not we're not, we're still in pretty close post op now. This foot was obviously a ten as well. Oh, yeah. What is it at now? Only four weeks later. Huh? I'm not taking any pain medicine. So you're not taking any pain medicine. It's much much better. Yes. So we've gone yes. from. We've gone from her, her being disabled with this to now getting back more into uh, normal life here. So really be careful taking out nerves. They most of the time don't need to be removed. Decompress the nerve, treat the appropriate deformities in the foot. Make sure they don't have gastrochequinus. If they have a bad bunion, these things have to be corrected. Uh, you know, you can do minimal things sometimes to get rid of nerve pain without removing the nerves. So be careful with those.